Sorry, you used all your time. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is. And thank you for allowing me to come up. Here's my question. I'm new to this, yeah. so it's a new adventure. It's easy. It is. It seems to be. It's better that you didn't hear anything before, because what we said today is the best we've ever said. Okay. <laughs> so. So my question surrounds people in your life. So let's say that you are trying your best to be a happy person and align yourself vibrationally with source and that's all going well. And then you have many brothers and sisters and friends like I do who call me and use me as somebody to vent off of, to express issues or problems. And so you try to be there for them. But do you ever watch television? Yes. <laughs> it's really the same thing. <laughs> Just entertainment. Yes. Lots of variety, lots of opinion. But here's the question. Where does personal responsibility come in for caring for other people? When do you cut that off and when is it selfish and not selfish? So that's what I'm struggling with. Really good question. And we like the way you worded it. And our answer is succinct and will be easy for you to hear. If you're not selfish enough to find your own alignment by focusing yourself into alignment, then you don't have anything to give them anyway. And being a sounding board for people's problems only encourages the vibration of the problem. You're not helping them at all, at all, at all, ever. Just encouraging the continuation of an active vibration about something unwanted. I see. So let's play this out just a little bit. Give us a common theme for what they are complaining to you about. Okay, I have one friend who is... Well, you're talking about brothers and sisters. Okay, I'll talk about my family. I have a sister who is... Uh... So we said common. So this is something you're getting from a lot of them. Yes. All right. And it's about feeling left out and feeling isolated and not being included. And I'm trying to say, going back to the other ones, hey, you need to include this one more because she's feeling left out. And they're saying, what are you talking about? We include her. And then I go back and... <laughs> Here's the reason that nothing ever gets sorted out from this. If someone feels left out, then that's the lens through which they are observing life. So when you hear your sister's complaint and you acknowledge she feels left out. So we all need to help her with a different condition that makes her not feel so left out. So now you're all focused upon the fact that she feels left out. Have you met my sister left out? <laughs> this is my sister in the family. She's known as the one we leave out of things. This is my sister. This is the one we try not to leave out of things, but she always feels left out no matter how much we do. This is who my sister is. And this is my other sister. This is my sister who leaves this sister out. This is my sister who leaves it. But this is my sister who doesn't believe that she's leaving this sister out. This is my sister who tries not to leave this sister out, but this sister still feels left out, even though this sister tries not to leave this sister out. We all try not to leave out this sister, but this sister just feels left out all the time. She feels left out no matter what we do. We just can't do enough to keep this sister from feeling left out. And so, as that's the perpetuation of the vibration around this, not only because that's the way she feels, but that's the way you feel about the way she feels. Now there's a lot of momentum in this and it's almost like she needs a whole new family to not be left out <laughs> a whole new family. But you know what? She will take her left out self to the new family and the new family who's never left anybody out of anything ever won't think about her they'll leave her out because she's got a vibration going and so you can't help her as long as you are beating the drum of her being left out because her left outness is active in your vibration too you see mm -hmm. so as her left outness is active in your vibration you'll be leaving her out without even meaning to leave her out you'll be shocked you just cannot believe that she can't understand how much you're trying to do for her because she's vibrationally blind to all of the well-being that you're offering you see mm -hmm. so what's your role in this well first of all we liked the way you formed this question because if you're not selfish enough to stay in alignment then you don't have anything to give anyway mm -hmm. so you have to unconditionally love her which means you can't see her as someone who feels left out if you accept her as someone who feels left out then that's active in your vibration and you're not going to be able to do anything except leave her out or accentuate her being left out 
so you have to find some way to not get wrapped up in the condition of her left outedness <laughs> you have to be unconditional in your love you have to love her you have to love you have to just be a vibrational match because if you're a vibrational match you couldn't possibly leave someone out if you're a vibrational match mm -hmm. unless they are vibrationally so different from what you are law of attraction is not going to put someone who feels left out with someone who is in vibrational alignment those two frequencies don't match up so what she is actually saying to you in fact what most of the world is saying to you and it's trying to get you to behave the way you need to be and not be selfish in other words they say don't be selfish and care about how you feel you must care about how I feel right. and we say did you hear that you want me to cater to your selfishness rather than my own only my guidance system is showing me my alignment I can't possibly so when you realize that you can't give someone anything that you don't have and you decide that you want to be a vibrational match to source so you can't think about this situation and be a vibrational match to source because too much has gone on too many words have been spoken and too many people are involved and it's already too big of a can of worms it's such a tangled mess you can't read or write enough books to ever sort this out this relationship issue is crazy in this time space reality because hardly anyone is taking the time to find alignment and then everybody's responding to conditions all around you all need to be different because I'm having a rough ride over here you all need to be different I just can't take it anymore I need a vacation I need a different family I need things to be different we say you cannot get there from there you finally got to stand where you are and accept that you've put it all in the vortex everything that you want is clearly understood you've got to find some way to turn those thoughts to the things you want to live you got to find some way of realizing what you've created and you can't do it by trying to fix the problems of others that just twirls you around in vibrations that keep you from ever being happy and then on your tombstones every one of you should have written on your tombstones I tried to make you happy <laughs> but did it work no <laughs> very tall tombstone I tried to make you happy I stood on my head in every possible way nothing that I did made any real difference because it turned out it was not my job it was your job so I wasted my life trying to do your job instead of doing my job my job is to find love and if I can't love you then I'll think about something more general easy to find things to love it's easy to find a feeling of love it's easy it just has to be a high enough priority you see and for most you don't work too hard at it until you get right up against the wall where you don't have other options mm -hmm. as long as you can call somebody and complain you probably will or as long as you can go to some self-help seminar But what it comes right down to is you got to care about how you feel you must be selfish enough to care about how you feel enough to find your alignment with source or you have nothing to give anyone so you can tell when you're helping others by the joy that you feel right. so you walk around in joy people all around you have problems and they say he doesn't care about us look how happy he is if he cared about us he'd be miserable too you believe that all right we're really on to something so let's say you have a lot of money so you share your money with others around you it's natural it's easy and then they say oh yeah you gave me a hundred thousand dollars you could have given me so much more <laughs> how about this so just kind of sort of getting you to look at things a little bit so here you are you are standing in your place of alignment and because you are in alignment all the resources of the world are flowing to you and so you share 
your clarity with someone who's confused and they're mad at you for not suffering with them or you share your abundance with them and they're mad at you for having more than you deserve so what they're actually meaning we want you to hear this because once you get this something's going to change inside of you that's going to make life easier for you most everybody you know drum roll please is evaluating your value to them your gift to them through your suffering if you're not sacrificing it's not a valid gift oh yeah she gave me a hundred thousand dollars but God she's got millions <laughs> that gift is meaningless it's not like it was the last dollar she had that would have been meaningful <laughs> so how dare you find alignment and joy in the midst of circumstances that are troubling how dare you be happy when someone you love isn't how dare you because so often they are determining your gift to them through your willingness to suffer and you got to get this turned around because if you're suffering you got no gift to give you can't get sick enough to help sick people get well you cannot get poor enough to help poor people become prosperous you cannot become confused enough to bring clarity to a situation in other words if you're not willing if you are not selfish enough to care about the way you feel the only reason that you could ever feel negative emotion is because your inner being won't join you in the suffering isn't that nice to know the only reason that negative emotion even is realized by me is because I've chosen a vibration that my inner being won't join me in inner being inner being you should come over here and feel bad with me so I don't have to feel bad but your inner being doesn't source doesn't when you stood before Jesus dripping your illness he did not see your illness he knew your wellness he knew it and he didn't just try to do it in that moment he had practiced knowing well-being long before you walked in dripping your illness if you were the first one he probably would have noticed your illness he found alignment and stood in knowing of your well-being and when you stood before him dripping your illness he saw it not instead he saw the vibrational version of you he saw the vortex version of you he knew the well-being version of you he was selfish enough to not go where you are he cannot help you if he goes where you are that reality already is all he can do is enhance that reality instead he stood in your new reality he held the vision of it and your illness could not abide in his vibration we're getting a little rowdy <laughs> your illness could not abide in his vibration and then he said go forth and tell no one what he really said is don't talk about it don't talk about it don't go home don't talk about it they'll talk you right back into it because reality for them is different than reality is for me and so you got a choice you can feel good or bad period never mind the condition because the condition of what is is only the manifestation of the vibration that's been going on it does not have to continue you can change the vibration now no matter what you can change the vibration anytime anywhere you just got to practice it a little bit and after a while you can be unconditional in your alignment you can be unconditional in your well-being you see and when you think about it most everybody they love you your brothers and sisters love you they love you they want you to thrive they just don't like the comparison between your thriving and they're not thriving but they're not against your thriving they're rooting for their own thriving you've just got to stand steady in the thriving and root for their thriving and you can't sacrifice your thriving in the moments that they're not thriving because that will lead to not what you're reaching for for them or for you best discussion ever <laughs> ever